Okay, um, this is JD, and I'm working on a new comic book page for the Next Gen Learning to Fly origin story. It's called, well, actually, that's what it is. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to ink and, you know, get the line art done, so this comic could be done in an orderly fashion. Anyway, yeah, and if anyone's asking a question about how did I create Next Gen, years ago I created this character when I was middle school, you know, armored character and stuff. I changed the name of course obviously for reasons of A it was too long and B it was just it would have been a lot suitable. So anyway I just added in the name that's pretty much the same character anyway. It was inspired by a Iron Man comic ironically. <laughs> One that was pretty weird, but hey, it was pretty cool. And I wanted to make a superhero like Iron Man. Anyway, yeah. I'm just going to try to say is that technically, technically, uh, long story short, I made a comic. I made it when I was in high school. Well, not in high school, but middle school. And I was trying to make a pretty good comic book. And also, it's just... I just wanted to make something pretty cool, you know? And I was inspired by the old 90s Iron Mans and 80s Iron Man and all that mess when I was developing them in the past. And he still got some aspects of Iron Man in him. I just did that to, you know, to make it cool. Anyway, um, currently working on the Otakuverse webcomic series, which is going to include Next Gen Learning to Fly as one of its sub-stories. It's kind of an anthology series of superheroes and stuff. I just wanted it to be like that so that way it looks pretty good and probably would be the best uh, comic book you'll ever read or something like that. Anyway, um, hmm. So, yeah, just trying to make more comics and stuff. Oh, and, yeah. But, to be honest, I was making comics as a coping mechanism when I was younger. Um, uh, well, let's just say it was kind of rough, but these days I'm trying to get better, you know. It's just hard to do, and, yeah. But, hey, um, making comic books was fun, and I loved them. I loved making them. I loved creating them. I loved designing them. I guess comics were the one thing that helped me out when I was younger. <laughs> they, they were crude, you know. I had, you know, kind of blocky characters, but uh, it took a while, but I found a how to draw manga book that kind of allowed, helped me or something like that to learn how to draw a little bit better. And I guess that's how it happened. You find one book you like and it allows you to learn how to draw better. Anyway, I'm just going to say out of the kindness of my heart that this is a, eh, well, not kindness, but whatever, that um, just help me out or something. You can buy my books and maybe you might enjoy them. Who knows? And if not, well, that's fine. I mean, you can always sell it on eBay or get rid of it or throw it away. But hey, at least you got, and at least you helped me out a little bit. But I, I always prefer people reading my books. That's why the main reason I make them, because I like people to see what I'm doing creatively. Anyway, uh, I'll be back. Uh, I'll post our video soon, okay? Hopefully. And see ya. Bye.